Well, today is a celebration. I'm here with Peggy Liptrot, the lady that uh, headed up the creation of Polka Dot Door way back in 1971. Nice. So that is, uh, my goodness, 71 to 81, 91, 2001. That is uh, a good 40, years ago. 40 some odd years ago. Right. And uh, what are we doing today, Peggy? We're looking, we're screening two old programs from the 70s, 1971. Um, and uh, so we'll see. Now, unfortunately, the um, man's going to come to rake the leaves on the lawn, and he has a blower. Oh, so he's going to make a lot of noise. Yes, he is. Well, it's, we can see how far we can get. This might be okay. But All if right. we need to stop, that's fine, too. All right. And uh, unfortunately, we can't show you guys out there what we're seeing because of copyright reasons. But I think as we go along, we'll have some discussion and we'll see what, what things come to your memory. So okay. here we go. This is Clocks from 1971. And oh. Clocks was the theme for the whole week. And so this is one of the days called Finding Out Day. Very cool. It was a different day. It was a different... Um, oh, sorry, I haven't put sound up. Do you want me to start over again? No, no, we're fine. And that theme and the, the artwork, um, I don't know if you know this, but that was used uh, right into the 90s, right from right, the 71 yes. to the 90s. And Dick Durhage designed this. That's right, yes. He's actually showed me the, uh, the original yeah, screen, right. screen board though. So that's All Alex Laurier? That's right. Take that's your right. little egg and put it in a saucepan. And as soon as you've done that, you turn this around and you wait. And as soon as the sand <laughs> has gone through from one side to the other, your egg is cooked. So when not you see this not set, do you remember things wet. about it? And Nina? Sort of, but here. not really. Well, we've got four more, but yours got five altogether. That is a one young Nina Keo. Right. <laughs> she looks no like idea. she's a teenager. Right. Oh, up goes the mouse. Story time mouse. <laughs> Everything looks much different from how right. I remember it in the 80s, but the, the characters are the same. They got the Humpty and Dumpty and Marigold and Bear. We're all going just right today. Now, let's do it again, only this time, you pretend with your little fingers going up and down your arm that you're the mouse. All right? And uh, I'm still not going to say the words for it. You do it. I'm just going to mouth them very, very quietly. All right? One, two, three. <laughs> so obviously all these clocks were brought in for the clock theme. That's right, yes. <clears throat> Did you do it? Well, I'm not sure if they were there all through the week. Right. They could have been. Usually that's what happened, at least in the later episodes, the theme was held throughout the whole week. That's right, yes. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. I think that was so smart of him. You do the singing, and he didn't help them. Right. You know, so that's because they were used to the little mouse. Right. Yes, that's that's fine. Let's uh, open this up and see what uh, goes on inside it. Now this clock actually is really, it's ticking. I can hear a tick. Can you hear a tick? 
Now, if you look inside it very carefully, you will What are some of the principles that you were trying to evening. incorporate when you when well, you did this series? My main principle was spring. your host and the hostess do not talk down to children. And right. When that spring is and tightened up, there's a rhythm. <coughs> and you let it go. If you it will turn are aware of that which is there are songs and there are stories the and there's some busy times and some quiet wheel, times. Mm -hmm. And, and that's important for preschoolers. Right. The inside of that clock so that the hands of the clock move. It's funny to think, you know, this would be 71, so Sesame Street had already been out two years, and that's it was quite right. busy. This was a contrast to it. It was much more calm. There you are. Okay. So line it up. And when you wind the clock up, Find the and tighter. Now this I is a bit dated because you don't have wind-up clocks again. anymore. <laughs> Unless they're antiques. I still have one. That sounds like a game to me. It is, and uh, I think we should all pretend that we are the insides of a clock. Not the outsides, not just the hands, but the insides of a clock. With everything moving at once, okay? So I'm going to sing a song, and we'll start off by moving, say, one finger and one arm. No, so no mistake, and that's Nina. One finger and one arm keep moving. One finger, one arm keep moving. Now, how old would you think that Nina would be in these early episodes? Early 20s, right? 20s already. Yeah. Maybe just late teens. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. She may remember. The pianist, Herbie Helbig, was his right, name. Right, right, right. That was his name. It was Herbie. One finger, one arm, one leg, one hip. And she looks as if she's having a good time, which was important. She's not just doing a performance, right? Which is a real talent. And I'm also ready for a story. Alex is going to tell it. Well, our story time clock shows a long minute hand pointing straight up, and that means it's something o'clock. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. They got bright lights on the on the the hands of the clock. Very colorful um, set. Have a very nice picture of an old building, an old city hall, and a clock, and a new city hall. And our story. It's tr Toronto's new city hall. That's right. It's about that old this is one of my city favorite stories. It's very cute. <clears throat> Do you remember this particular story? Yes, yes I do. Recognize right. that city hall. Well, it is now, in a all the, large Canadian city called Toronto. All the and illustrations are dick too. In I this think, particular city oh, really? hall, there is a I'm very not sure he had other people nice working for him too, but old clock, you see. So he would have and you're saying he would have done these illustrations as well. He might have, yes. Right. Right. Government of the city, people right. like the mayors there. and the council and the aldermen. And if you notice the chairman and the trustees still and all photographs. Yeah. And I always this think for preschoolers, opened in the year it's important to have still pictures as as your mm -hmm. because then you don't have the constant the movement all the time building, and they can concentrate on the story from the and River. on the pictures. Right. It looks old-fashioned now, but when it was opened, it kind of helps them use their imagination. The city, sure. And everyone liked it especially for its big clock tower. Well, they need time the to absorb what they're seeing so and what they're hearing. Right. Striking the and if you have the picture moving all the time, the then all I don't think the they can do that. No. Of course, Toronto was a much quieter city in those days long ago, when people rode around in horses and carriages rather than in cars and buses and subways. And this old city hall clock was very proud because it stood so big and tall. And every day, hundreds of people used to look up at it. To find so out where would you typically be when an episode was, was being recorded? Were you behind the set watching as no, they performed? The were all live. Yeah. You could so, be sure it was no, exactly no, I was in the control room. In the control room. Right, yes. Yeah. Now, one day, just a few and years in the ago, control room, you had, uh, the city fathers decided to build a new city hall. Video screens. Now, this and, was uh, very sad news for the old city hall. You had a video screen for each 
after all, camera. he didn't like the idea of being and replaced by a new young plot. I had a time to decide what camera right. was going to take what shot. So right. the script person would right. make out camera right. lists, and so Side each camera knew what right. their next shot was going to be because they were all numbered. Right. And you had that, and she had a copy of that. And before long, the workmen arrived and started digging at the hole in the ground. Because in those days, we didn't have zoom lenses. Oh, really? No. Maybe in the 70s we started to have them, but sometimes you had to give them time to rack over to a different lens because you had your 2, 3, 5, and 8 inch lenses, and 2 and 3 were your wide angle, and, and 5 and 8 were close up. Wow. But now we, I think I'm, I'm incorrect because we're in the 70s now. We have some zooming going on. Well, I'm not sure whether it's a little bit of zooming. Right, yes. And though he worried and watched as hard as he could, the old city hall. Now this is really fascinating um, because they're actually showing the rebuilding, the, the building of the newer right. city hall, which yes. to me is now the old city hall in Toronto. <laughs> So you would be in the control room, and would you would you be calling any shots in terms of? Oh, sure, all the yeah. time. Sure. Right. I think we should just tear down that old city hall. We have a nice new city hall. Now. Well, I'll be saying now, zoom in, and zoom out, or right. you know, or, or dolly in and dolly out. Hear this and feel sadder and sadder and more unwanted. And then camera two, be ready to. Take a close up of the tower. So you got to really be on your toes in terms oh, of yeah, knowing the script and, oh, sure, right. and, and time is right in front of you. time is money. So you're wanting to get it right the first time. Well, you had to. It's an, so it was all live. Right. Now say, I'm not sure in the now 70s whether we were. Maybe we were um, say, no, recording no, them, we must but it was the live to the to the. After all, Recording, there is you know, no clock on the outside. You didn't stop and start again. What would we do without that old clock? And you didn't edit in the edit suite. And so right. the argument went, went on and on. It was called and live to tape. Soon mm. not to pay any attention to the arguments. He just stood up there proudly and told the time to all the thousands of people who came to admire the new city hall. So if you ever go to see that new city hall in Toronto. Would you ever sure catch these way. when they were on the air, ones that you had produced, or were they often very, airing when you were busy at work or doing other things? Well, no, because we recorded all of these. We recorded the first 30 programs, and so I was able to watch them in the fall. Right. It's a story that's often been told. And these would have been recorded uh, during the summertime. Yes. Do you know of any old buildings or new buildings where you it's live? It's an interesting outfit he has on, an orange shirt, right. orange shirt with a with a, with a green right. neck, and he's right. got striped brown. Right. Well, he picks up the colored pants. Yeah. Why don't you see if you can find some of these buildings? Wouldn't Yeah, I think that's one of the things that I definitely notice is just the uh, the colors are a lot well, this different. This is so simple. This is probably a dick, too. Now, I have a house here with all the different rooms that you have in your house, but these clocks look to me as though they're in the wrong rooms. What do you think? Well, here's the children's bedroom, and this is a mantel clock, and I don't think a mantel clock belongs in the children's bedroom. And the bathroom, well, you don't often see a clock in the bathroom. <laughs> and here's <laughs> another bedroom, and that looks, well, that looks like a... A hand clock it's very simple too, just drawn and. That's right. And the kitchen. So this is oh, figure out where the clock belongs. Oh, this is a puzzle. Yeah. On the top of the stove, because we don't want our grandfather clock to get cooked. <laughs> and in the living room, well, somehow this clock doesn't look right because it's sitting right up in the air. It's not sitting on anything. So let's try and change them around the way they should be. Now, can you give me any ideas about where the mantel clock might go? No, it's not going to sit on the bathtub. Let's see. Oh, that's a good idea. I think you're right. I think that it belongs in the bedroom. Oh, looks like Let's somebody's behind there. No, it's just a, a um, piece of Velcro. It does. It sits right yeah. on the bureau. And that's where the mantel clock goes. Now, what about this clock in the living room? It's just sitting right out in the middle of now nowhere. she's giving them I, I time think to think about where that should go. Mm -hmm. Let's see. She's not doing it in a rush. 
Right. Does that look like a kitchen clock to you? It's very at a very so relaxed let's take pace. That's right. Clock out off, and we'll see if this. Now that looks better, doesn't it? The kitchen clock up on the wall. So we know when our. Well, as we watch this, I'm going to send Nina a text and tell her that we're watching her in 1971. I'm sure she'll get a kick out of that. So maybe I should put it in the children's bedroom. So when it rings in the morning, they know when to get up. And we have one left. And that's our grandfather clock. And there's only one place left to put it, and that is in the living room. Right there. <laughs> Beside the couch. And everybody can see what time it is. Probably composed by Pat Patterson. Okay. And would Dodie Rob had had a role in these early episodes too? She wrote she wrote the story. Okay, so she wrote the script for this. Right. They both collaborated the scripts for each show, and then they did, had specific things. Dodie usually did the story, and Pat always did the music, and sometimes Dodie helped her with the lyrics. Or Pat did both. Interesting. So really, the series was developed with a host of people. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Right, yes. Big team effort. That's right. Very much so. When we were talking about Marnie Patrick Roberts earlier as well, she was an educational consultant. That's right. So how would she contribute to what we're seeing here? Well, she made sure that everything was educationally sound, as did Ted Coneybear. Right. And would contribute... And they sort of um, read the scripts before we got into production, too. Right. So that everything was... Um, it looks like an era. It's kind of large for an era. <laughs> well, I think this is so cute, too. It's, it's so... An iPad. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, this is a crab, no, though. No, no. <laughs> it's got pokeroo on it. That's right. You're close. You're close. Do you know what it is, Nina? It is a pokeroo wristwatch. And you know, they're, they're not very, very difficult to make. Now the crafts had to be at a level where kids could make that's these right. from they, things from home, right? That's right, and this is so simple. Just look at what he's doing. He's got a rubber band, and he's got just a piece of cardboard. That's right. You might get someone to put the numbers on it for you, or you can put little marks on where the numbers should be. I've already started here. Well, that guy's doing a good job of blowing away all your leaves. And when you've done that, all you have to do is you take the rubber band, that's right, and you can cut a niche, you see, on either side of the cardboard. That way it'll hold on, you see. Just put it through. That's neat. It's so simple. Very simple. But it's effective. Well, perfect. Not only has he seen and they can decorate it, it any way they want so to. Happy. Yep, they can personalize it and make it their own. Right. He ordered 12 of these watches and he was so pleased that he sent along, along with our joke in the box, which I have in the hand here, he sent around a little surprise for us. Yeah. So why don't we open this up? <laughs> he gets me every time he does that. I'll give them to you and you can read what it says there, all right? Oh, he's got a riddle in his hand. He usually has a riddle. This picture looks perfect as perfect can be, but look at the clocks and see what you see. Picture? Let's, I guess this is what it must be, I guess. Let me open it up. Huh. Open it up and see what it's what it is. Nina recently found a picture of her Whoops. with the pokeroo costume it on. It's the old clock yeah. shop. Now this is a game, and why don't you play along with me? Now we find ourselves in the old clock shop. We have here some clocks. So let's look at them. Is there anything wrong with these clocks? Is there anything wrong with the first one? It's a cuckoo clock. Wait a minute. 
That isn't a cuckoo, is it? <laughs> Looks that like he grew his fingernails clock. out long to play the guitar. Right. No, that is a squirrel clock. I don't think we have too many of them around. Look at the next one. That's a big grandfather clock. Like our story time clock. Remember our rhyme? Hickory, dickory, dock. The elephant ran up the clock. No, 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 no. There's something wrong with that. Something definitely. <laughs> that cannot be an elephant. It's a mouse in disguise. But that's what's wrong with that clock. Let's look at the third one. That's an alarm clock. So when you watch these episodes, Peggy, what what other kind of memories come to mind? Do you do you, like do you see something you're like, oh, I remember us doing that, or oh, I remember that. You mentioned this. You mentioned the story. You remember the story. Right, I remember the story. Yes, and uh, everybody loved it. And it was just about the time. Well, when I, I can't remember when the new city hall was finished. Yeah, it had to be around the, right, yeah. around that time. And everybody was concerned about it, you know. And some people hated it, and some people liked it. Are we going to see more clocks? We are. And we just looked through the polka dot, one of our polka dots, and we're going to see some other very unusual clocks. One of the polka dots. There's the door. So these films, because this is some one of the early episodes, would these films be the ones that you borrowed from Britain? We bought them. Bought them, yeah. yeah. They had uh, they had paid for the series. And um, what do you mean, who had paid for... Well, they, they bought the series. TV Ontario bought this Play School series. Right, the rights to make their own That's version. Right, yes. Yeah. So, you know, they <clears throat> they had Humpty and Dumpty and... and um, Marigold and Bear. Uh, I'm not sure where they Oh, that's Marigold. right. Oh, the original. Yeah, you're, you're right. right. You're right. And then they had the Storytime Clock... And so there were a few things that we, we kept. Um, but then I found that it was, the pace was too slow, particularly with some of the children that, that we knew in Ontario that were, had fans of Sesame Street. So I said, we need a one that goes in between mm -hmm. the, the quietness and, and uh, it's I thought it was sort of dull, the BBC series and so on. Anyway. So those films, you would have licensed them from the BBC, or you, you got like a package deal or I something? I think we got a package deal. Yeah. Um, Ted Coneybear and I went over in uh, February well, um, many, many or years March ago, of... Many, many years ago, a long time um, ago, before people ever heard about uh, clocks. They used to sell time by the sun. <laughs> and this and this, set, this do, set design is pretty wild. Circle, this is a, well, quite... The ground, it's funny to watch it, because I, you know, I would have grown up watching the episodes right, in the sure. 80s, right. so it's interesting to see how... It's the same, but it's different, you know, sure, the colors right. and yes, stuff. Right. Like these objects here, I don't think sure. I ever saw those. They would place a little stone. And the, the pink sandbox is a nice little, little treat. And but this is cute too. He's showing the... Can you see the um, shadow? This, he explained the shadow right when you were talking that this is how they used now to tell their time with a sundial. And so... Right there. Now, as the sun... Went across the sky, and we'll pretend that our sun is going He's to He's using uh, sky. one of your stage lamps right, there, Peg. Yes, right. <laughs> oh, isn't that neat? At a certain That's time right. of day, right. it's good. They would place another mark. Now, this is something that uh, Dodie and Pat would have written into the script. And That's right. And yes. you guys, as a team, would figure out how to make it happen sky. on the screen. Mm. Or they would they might would suggest some change. Another but we always try to use a sandbox. We used to, we try to use the things that were, that were in, in the world the of preschoolers. Right. Now yes. Yeah. So this is a very simple set, probably yeah, two think, or three rooms. I think that's Can important you because um, you need if some you place. Clock, you're right. you it's don't it's want sundown. things to distract. And it's something right. Like the sundial we saw on our polka dot door, and you can make one yourself. Very easily in your own sandbox. And they could become familiar with it too. And, and sure. if you do, you know. <clears throat> remember that this is what time is all about. Where the sun is in the sky. Now time is not just a 
flocks and so on. Time also is the seasons of That's the interesting. Year. So far they haven't have had a whole lot of interaction with the toys. The toys are just kind of there. When I, wa when I watched it, the toys would talk to them, and maybe they do it on other episodes as well. Another one of Pat's songs. Okay. North again in spring. Well, they go where the days are lighter and longer. So Pat would obviously Daylight get with Alex or give him a, a tape with a demo of it on, and he would learn the song that Why way. The She'd probably get the music. Yeah. The like the music on. Why are they green till the summer grows old? Well, the green leaves make food to build a tree stronger. Trees aren't hungry when the weather grows cold. Find out the season, the four seasons, the winter time when the birds flew south, the springtime when the birds came home again to the north, and the summertime when the leaves were green, and the fall when the leaves turned red. Did you find out? So this is Finding Out Day, right. and I know the other one we have is Imagination Day, which typically Pokeroo comes out on That's Imagination right. Day. That's right. Why do you say time so many times all the time? But I have some pictures here that we can look at. And you see if you can guess what time these are. Does that look Dinner like time. To you? <laughs> well, you're right. It's breakfast time, lunch time, supper time, and snack time. Which one is your favorite? It's snack time, is it? <laughs> well, mine is supper time, I think. And this is a birthday party. And these are so almost like party time. That's a um, drawings that a child could make. Right. Oh, so they're very right. simple, but I this think they're great time. because they're not too complicated. And, and, and would these be nice. illustrations that you guys found somewhere, or would you have someone no, no, that no. would have drawn them? Dick would do oh, this yeah. Sure. Time. That's he had a good important. staff with him, too, that he yeah. couldn't possibly do everything. And oh, this is fun. This is bath time. I'm always looking forward okay, to that. Okay, box time. I'll take Benny off. Benny? We'll just open yeah. our joke box. Remember him at all. <laughs> Benny looks like a here? little frog. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> he does it every time. <laughs> now, is that something you used <laughs> often, the Jack in the Box? I guess we did. Us, I believe. At least in this episode. Said. <clears throat> it's called Joke in the Box. But no head. Hands, but no feet, and yet is usually running. Well, how can he run without feet? Uh, face, face, but no head. Has a face, but no head. And uh, hands, but no feet. Yeah. Can you guess? You have an idea, do you? Well, I'll read it again. What is it that has a face, but no head? No, they're giving the kids time, no the viewer feet, time, mm -hmm. and think. yet is usually running. Mm. You can see it. It's on me. <coughs> It's on you? Mm -hmm. I've got one. You, you've got one. You've got a face. I've got the answer. you got, what's the answer? The answer is on my wrist. <laughs> it's my watch. Oh. oh, going with the theme of the one day, of course. That's right. No theme of the week. Theme of the week, and pardon me. Hands, but yeah. it has no feet. <laughs> you've got a watch, too, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, you've got the answer to the riddle, too. Oh, I was just thinking, we better go and look at our egg timers. Oh, that's right. That's what we started them at the beginning of our today's playtime, right. didn't we? So we're going to go and look at our egg timers right now. Well, Alex, it looks as though our last grain of sand has almost run out. Sure looks it. You might say the time is running out. That's right. It's great how the theme the stays goes. throughout. That's right. Time finding out all about clocks, don't we? Did you? Bye-bye. Bye. Written by Pat Patterson and Company. Yeah. Ada Sherman. Producer Peggy Liptra, there you are. 1971. Isn't that something? <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, hey, thanks for, again, doing oh, another little one of these little interviews and sharing right. your thoughts as we went through. That was really special to see. Good. So, Good. Wonderful. I enjoyed watching it, too. As did I. <laughs>